had no idea. I thought it was going to be just as simple as all the essays that I wrote about it. You don't know what you don't know. Hey guys, what's up? My name's Taylor, and today I'm gonna be telling you about my first day of teaching ever. First of all, I did not do student teaching. I went straight into internship, which is basically, you took some classes. Here's your classroom. All yours, go for it. Which resulted in me being like, yes, awesome. I can do this. Ah! <laughs> And then you're just running around like a chicken with his head cut off because you realize you have no idea what you're doing. It's like, I immediately regret this decision. I don't know what I'm doing. Someone help me. When did I become in charge of 27 little humans? And they're all relying on me. What? So today I'm gonna tell you the truth about what that first day was actually like. about to start for some of you already has and the reason why I want to make this video is because lately I've been seeing new teachers posting a lot about just like tomorrow is the first day of the rest of my life tomorrow I start my dream I can't wait to get in my classroom and change the world and make a difference and all of that is awesome that's exactly how you should feel I felt all of those things but because I felt so strongly about my first day of school being just amazing it led to a massive breakdown once my kids left. So let's start from the beginning. First day of school, I've decorated my whole classroom. It's all colorful and extravagant, way too extravagant. And all my kids come in and I have 27 little kiddos full of energy and excitement and love and craziness, all mine. And I was just so overwhelmed. From the minute that bell rang and I went out and got my kids, it was just fight or flight all day. And you don't realize how many decisions you're making. And I'm making these decisions knowing I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. So I was just straight up scared. I skipped the nervous feeling and went straight to fight or flight. Luckily I fought instead of just flying out of the room. <laughs> but I was just so overwhelmed and I couldn't even hear myself think. And I just remember being so mad. The one thought that kept going through my mind all day was, I didn't learn this in school. Where the heck did we learn this? Where was the class about this? This would have been really helpful to learn in school. What did I do for six years in college? What is the point? Because it's true, like our credential program doesn't teach us how to handle the kid that won't stop crying. One kid won't get off the floor. One kid won't stop licking his desk. And I was just so overwhelmed and frustrated. So when it came to lunch, I felt these overwhelming feelings coming up. I felt tears starting to well up in my eyes and I'm like, oh no, I cannot even try to let some of this out now because it's just gonna be all bad. Like I need to keep it together at least till the end of school. So I was distracting myself, doing whatever I had to do just to keep in that mindset of like, gotta go. Because these little kids are looking up to you and you can't show them that you're freaking out inside. You can't show them that you have no idea what you're doing. You can't show them that it's like, oh, little person, I don't know how to handle this or handle you right now. You need to just fake it till you make it. But that can be so exhausting. A bell rings, I have to go pick up my kids for lunch and I'm like, I still have two hours. And I made the mistake of thinking like, oh, we went over the procedures like twice. They must know it, they're going to get it. No. I made the mistake of thinking in the first day I was supposed to be teaching content already. And really, no. I should have been more focused on building community and teaching procedures, hammering in those procedures. And I just had, I had no idea what I was doing. I thought it was going to be just as simple as all the essays that I wrote about it. And it's just not. Then comes the end of the day. We're getting ready to line up and I realized I never even made a procedure for getting them to get their backpacks and line up to go home. But inside, I'm like, I don't even care how we do this. I just need you guys to go. <laughs> so I just said, let's all go get our backpacks and line up. And they did, but it was chaotic and loud and just insane. And I'm already feeling the, okay, I'm about to be free and my emotions and everything's just building up and I'm not, and I don't even have them out of the building yet. But we line up, we go out and then it's like, Holy smokes, I have to make sure that all these kids get home with like the right person or they're on the right bus or they're going to where they need to be. And it was just like, where was the class on that? I don't know. Like they're in first grade. They've only done this for kindergarten. And I don't have kids, so I'm like, do they just forget everything after kindergarten? Are they gonna know where to go? Are they gonna freak out? Like, I had no idea what to expect. But luckily, I had other teachers there to help me out. So I finally get back to my classroom and I'm just in shock for a minute or two. And this newer teacher, she's only been teaching for like two or three years at the time. And she comes in and she's like, how was your first day? And I just lost it, just 
tears because I finally got to feel everything I was feeling all day, but all at once. And it was just like, oh my, I, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm really not a crier, but oh my goodness. Like, I could not hold it in because I've been holding it in all day. And someone just asked how it went and asked how I was feeling. And it was just like, ah. She's like, no, not at all. I just came to ask you because this is exactly how I felt on my first day. And I felt so alone and didn't know what I was doing. And I'm like, that's how I feel. Like, I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing. It is the first day and I'm already crying. Do I need to change my career? Like, why is this so hard? When I feel like this is what I meant to do, how can those things be on such opposite levels? And she was just such a great help, um, even though I was super embarrassed from crying in front of her, but it truly did help and made me realize that, okay, I'm not crazy for feeling this way. I wasn't the only teacher crying after their first day of teaching. And there are just going to be days that are like that all throughout your first year, all throughout your first couple years. And I'm sure it'll become less and less the more you teach. I don't know, I'll keep you posted. But the main message I wanted to share with you guys today is that do not let your first day, your first week, your first year make you doubt yourself. If you feel like you're meant to do this and you are meant to do this, you're new, you're learning. And how much does that say if you can have a horrible first day and you still show up tomorrow? That is what shows that you're truly meant to do this. So your first day of teaching, I hope it goes awesome. I hope you have the class of your dreams. I hope it goes smoothly. I hope it is everything that you imagine. But if it's not, you're okay. You're still meant to do this. You are still going to be a great teacher. It's just the first day. It gets better. Trust me. So let's go out there and help these kids, even if we have no idea what we're doing. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next week.